Collies Bridge and about a mile and a bit to Hinkley. The town is about a mile from the canal itself, but I will take a stroll into Hinkley and have a good old look around. I'm in the mood for a sausage roll. Thank heavens for that great British institution, Greg's. Greg's the Baker's. Sausage rolls contain neither sausage or rolls. What they contain, nobody knows. But rather like Americans and the ingredients in Twinkies, we don't care, because they taste so darn good. of Aslan and the Gent to be seen their travels before. Well, did you know that they're back again and cruising the canals once more? Sold up, downsized for a minimalised alternative life afloat. Going boldly where thousands have been before. One man, one life, one boat. Every town in Britain has a Greggs, with the exception of Millham, near the west coast of Cumbria. The largest town in Britain that doesn't have a Greggs. A mystery to this day, and to be honest, not much of a claim to fame. Some very nice moorings, but I'm going to continue on. And in fact, I'll probably moor up at the bridge before Hinkley, because I've no idea what the mooring situation is like on the other side. The moorings just before Hinkley aren't far after this bridge and hopefully there'll be space. Off towpath moorings and according to the map, the on towpath moorings are basically right opposite. Yep. First day on the Ashby Canal, and I must say, I like it. In fact, I like it a lot. Yeah, excellent. There's a water point here. So I'll be stopping here tomorrow for a quick top up. Always important to keep the bow down and the stern up if there's any indication 
thought that the canal might be a little bit shallow. So is this a daily thing that they look There's forward to? Young lady here. Yeah, that's a try of feeding, but he won't come too close. Well, I don't blame him for that. You're the bird lady of Hinkley. She is. She's got a bit there, look at <laughs> The bird lady of Hinkley. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's a long old walk, I can tell you. It's a Monday morning, but I get the feeling Hinkley has had better days. Well, the high street looks more prosperous. And what did I tell you? Every town has a Greg's. For those who don't know, Cash generator is a pawn shop, and if one of those is closed down, you know things aren't exactly as good as they could be. Oh, blast. Oh well, couldn't have asked for a nicer spot. Mm. This is the uh, second time in what, just over a month, isn't it? Um, yeah, nice and thick. And it's supposed to be minus whatever tomorrow as well. Uh, and then it's going to start warming up. So I think the next uh, two, maybe three days, I'm going to be stuck at Hinkley. But like I say, could be worse. On the outskirts of Hinkley, next to the canal, lies this sprawling industrial area, which includes this humongous DPD International Distribution Centre. Very hot.
is a good sign it's warming up. It's freezing fog, mine, but this is the first fog, so it must be warming up. But yeah, still frozen solid. You know, what is it, like, um, what was it, the 24th today, isn't it? So that's nine days I've been here. Um, it's funny how the more you walk a route, the uh, shorter it seems to get. Yeah, it's nice and thin now, it's like plate glass. All right, drink up, drink. We're leaving. Uh, it's a bit thicker than I thought. Well, I've got her, yeah, I've got her in gear, but I'm just getting pushed over to the side, basically. Right, let's try it at an angle, because at the moment I'm running along the edge of the front of the ice and then just heading straight into the, uh, next to that green boat. This ain't going well at all. Right, I'm going to try going along the Armco. Oh no, it's happening again. Come on, steer into it. That's still quite thick. It's about an inch. But I'm sure it's uh, thawed out just after the bridge around this bend. But I want to get some water first. That's where I'm heading, about 40 yards. Yeah, 30 yards. Well, at least I can get some water, but I'm going to have to get my barge pole and try a bit further up the canal there, past that bridge. I've just been with the barge pole and had a little test further along. It's completely and utterly thawed out under the bridge, but some areas it's paper thin, others it's uh, an inch thick again. So in all honesty, I'm going to go back to where I was. I tried. You can't uh, do better than that, can you? Back to the mooring then. The start of season nine is already way over schedule. Not to worry, it'll start when it starts. Ever the optimist, it's a nice day now, and I filled the water tank. Something has just occurred to me. Uh, with regards going down to the water point, 30 or 40 yards, uh, and then coming back. And that something is to do with horses. Um, if you have a field with a perimeter fence, and you then put, for example, an electric fence about eight feet away from the perimeter, all the way round, so you end up with a continual run, and then you put your horses in that, uh, they will instinctively just munch away and steadily make their way around the perimeter and they'll do that several times in a day and at the end of the day the collective consciousness of the herd will be happy they'll all be happy because they've satisfied their instinctive urge 
to travel. And in the wild, a pack of horses will typically travel anything between 10 and 20 miles a day. And it struck me that in going to the water point and coming back, I have satisfied my inbuilt, simple, instinctive urge to travel. And I feel good. I've poked and prodded, and looking back there, it's completely clear. Also further down the canal, there's just this patch here, right in front of and next to Aslan. I'd say it's about a centimetre thick, or half an inch, say. And these engineers were measuring the uh, depth of the dams at the side there, the copper dams. So far, has the ice completely gone? Just that chunk of ice where I was moored up. Very low bridge. Oh, I ain't gonna count my chickens, not just yet. I'm anticipating there may be the occasional patch of ice. Yeah, there's thin bits, but I do believe it's gone. Just by there, that patch. Oh, I'm pushing a piece along now. There's a lot of it here, crunching along. Come on, got to remember to steer into it. Uh, quite a thick bit here. Come on, girl. They don't sound too good, but we're moving. Whew, I think we're through that bit. But I can see another patch ahead. And I've got to remember as well that bridge 17 is supposed to be low. Oh, here's the next patch. Oh, this is a bit thicker. Slow me right down now. Uh, It's got thicker. Come on, girl. Yeah, I'm just not moving. If I can get near the bank, I'm just going to tie up, but. I mean, I'm going forward at an angle at the moment, just trying to break my way across. That's it, come on, let's get over. Come on, go. Now I'm beached. I've got to get over. got myself in a position where I've broken my way along on the wrong side of the canal. I can't get over because this ice here which I've just checked and that's about an inch thick. And it's difficult to move back because this side must be really silted up and it's all full of overhanging trees. I think I might be breaking my way 
across to the other side. <laughs> it's not pretty, but it seems to be working. Of a fashion. I'm sure I don't have to say it, but uh, travelling today is over. Right, smash that up a bit then. Yeah, it thickened up. Though, so, you know, if it had stayed as thin as it was, I'd have quite happily uh, cracked on, quite literally. Oh well, 400 yards is better than no yards. Good news, I hope. A boat went by about three quarters of an hour ago and he seemed to go through the ice like it wasn't even there. He did come back though, as he'd only gone to the marina up here for a pump out. So far, so good. But I think I said that yesterday. Thirteen days here is uh, more than enough for me. A pleasant enough town. But there's only so much light and heavy industry you can enjoy. I could say that today I'm heading about three and a half miles to Stoke Golding. But that would just be tempting fate again, wouldn't it? So today I'm heading for as far as I can get. And hopefully Stoke Golding, which is three and a half miles away. If you think crashing through all this ice sounds bad, Trust me, it is. Coming up now is Bridge 17, which, according to the Nicholson Guide, has low headroom. But I think I've been under lower, so I'm not going to have to take my chimneys off, he says. Uh, nope, just all I got at. 
an inch to spare, what's the problem? I wasn't concerned. The boat has said it was completely ice free outside the marina, which is coming up on the right. Yeah, this is my last chance. The moorings there. And if I continue, I don't know what's round this bend. And if it's frozen, hmm. Here goes then. If it stays like this, I will be a very happy chappy. Oh, this is a bit thicker. Ugh, not again. There's an uh, armco up here. That's going to have to be it again for today. Carpe DM. Seize the mooring. And right in sight of the Triumph factory. It's not all lost, is it? I've done, what, half a mile? Hey, you never know. Maybe I can go and test drive a Triumph. The sun is out, the sky is blue. There ain't no ice to spoil progress. No, that doesn't work, does it? If I encounter another bit of ice, I will eat my own shoes. Well, I certainly struck the jackpot here. 13th and 14th centuries, eh?